How do you organize the products in your Shopify store easily and quickly? Let's find out. What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in today. If you're new here and we don't know each other, my name's Carrie. I'm the founder of Shirt School, and I created this channel to bring you the best strategies, secrets, and hacks to grow your online t-shirt, apparel, or print-on-demand business. When potential customers come to your Shopify store, you want it to be really simple for them to find the products that they need. So today, I want to show you how to organize your products. This might be something that's confusing to a lot of people, and so I just kind of want to show you step-by-step step how I approach doing this. We're inside Shopify. And obviously the first thing you have to do is have all your products created. So I'm inside a store here where we have tons of products. This is just a, a test store, kind of a, a demonstration store. And I have a ton of different products in here. So once we've got our products created, the first step to organize our products is to hit this button over on the left under products called collections. Collections are really how we can group our products together uh, inside of our store and it makes it really simple to find, you know, kind of a group of like products. Step number two, we want to hit create collection. When we hit create collection, that's going to bring up all these different options here. We can start by titling our collection. So we might call this like hats just as an example. And there's a bunch of different options that we have here inside Shopify. We can do automated, which is what it is set on by default. It says existing and future products that match the conditions you set will be automatically added to this collection. And so right down here, we have a couple different um, uh, conditions we can set. We can do product tag or all these different things and we can set different variables and that will automatically group products together based on those uh, that stuff you put in there. Now, I operate a lot of apparel and t-shirt stores, so the way that I usually go is manual. I hit this manual button right here. Now, something that's really confusing that a lot of people get hung up on is when you hit the manual option, there's actually no option on the screen to add the products. And so a lot of people are like, what the heck? I added manual. Where's the products? Well, the way that Shopify is set up for whatever reason, you have to actually hit the save button before it will let you add products to the collection. So you create the collection and then you hit the save button. And on the next page, we're actually able to add products. We can go right down here. We can search our products so we can try to find a hat and see if that comes up. And we do have some hats here. We can also just hit the browse button. We can search through our products and then we can add products to the collection. So if I wanna add this hat right here, I can just select this, hit add, and now I've got a hat there in the collection. And then I can go through here and add the rest of my hats and I've created a hat collection. And that's kind of the first thing to really organize your products is creating collections for all the different categories of your products. There's a few different strategies to doing this, and it really depends on what you're selling in your store and uh, how many products you have. Those are probably the most important things, what you're selling, how many products you have. So a couple common strategies that I see across e-commerce stores. Number one, organizing it kind of by gender, right? So you can have like unisex, men, women, baby, you know, those kind of things. You, when you organize it that way, you know, that's a good way to organize it and keeps it pretty simple for people. The other way that you can commonly organize your products is by product type. So let's say in an apparel store, we have t-shirts, hoodies and sweatshirts, uh, hats, um, you know, mugs or whatever, whatever the case may be, but you can organize it kind of by product type. Both of these are really good ways to do it and keep it easy and simple for your customer. So either way you want to go is a good option. Once we've gone through and we've created all the collections that we want, we've done the bulk of the work in organizing our store. But the last thing I would recommend you do is that you create navigation for these collections so that your customers can actually surf around. Uh, the collections are good for organizing on the back end, but we need to actually put those collections into a navigation bar uh, so our customers can actually use them on the website. To do that, we're going to click on online store. Then we're going to click on navigation. And I usually recommend that you make a main menu and a footer menu for your store. I've already done that here, but I want to show you how to do that. We're going to click on add menu. We'll actually title it right here, main menu, right? And then we can actually add items to the menu. And you'll see over here on the right, if we just um, click right here, we can, we can click on collections and we can add the collections that we just made. So we can click hats and we'll click add and that will add it to the menu just like that, right? And so we could go through here and add t-shirts and uh, hoodies or whatever we want to do to put this in our menu. We can click on save and now we've created a navigation menu. 
the last thing that we would want to do is actually add that menu to our theme. We would need to go in here to customize our theme and we would actually just add the menu up here at the top in the header. Over here on the right, you see it says menu and we can just select the menu that we just created and that will show up right here at the top and that will allow our customers to surf around the website and find things easily. Do you want a simple free guide to set up and build your Shopify store? Well, I actually put together a free Shopify cheat sheet. It's 13 steps and it will take you through each step you need to make sure you do before you open your Shopify store to the public. It's been really helpful for a lot of people and I want to give it to you completely free. Just go over to shirtschool.com slash cheat sheet. You can put in your email and download a PDF file completely free. Hope it helps. Hey, if you enjoyed this video today, please hit that like button. It helps us out a ton in getting this video out to more people so we can help help more people and reach more people with this information. Also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon. That'll make sure you get notified every time we release a new video. See you soon.